Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Shane Mendoza. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay paano nga ba gumawa ng quiz gamit ang Google Forms. Ayan. At may bonus po po tayo. Ipapakita ko din po sa inyo kung paano po siya isend or ilagay sa Google Classroom. Ayan. Pero bago po ang lahat, kung sino man po sa inyo ang gusto din matutunan kung paano po gumawa ng registration form para sa uh, enrollment, ayan, sa webinars, trainings and workshop and the like, gamit din po ang Google Forms. May video din po ako para dyan. Ilalagay ko po yung link ayan, dito po sa description below. Ayan. So, without further ado, let's get started! gagawin ay pupunta tayo sa Google and then um, from the search box um, type natin ang Google Forms and then let's click this one, Google Forms free online surveys and let's click go to Google Forms So, ayan na, meron na tayo. So, ngayon, paano ba tayo gagawa ng quiz? Diba? So, una, uh, punta, dito, punta tayo dito sa team options. Ayan, yung parang may pink icon. And then, let's choose image. And then, food and dining. So, ang gagawin ko pong header is related sa subject ko. So, I will choose this one. And then, let's click insert. So, ayan, automatic nagbago yung theme color at background color. Then, let's choose a font style. So, I will choose this, this one, formal. Then, let's click apply. And, ayan na. And then, ang um, una-muna natin gawin is click natin tong free dots ito sa taas then let's click settings and ayan sa so general collect email address ayan then since quiz to diba limit to one response so kakailanganin diba respondents will be required to sign into google and isa lang yung pwede um, mag quiz doon gamit yung kanilang account sa google so, yan, respondents can edit after submit, no, si summary charts, and text responses. Yan, then, when it comes to presentation, show progress bar. So, ito, shuffle question order. And then, so, yan, confirmation message. Pwede natin siyang baguhin. Pero, ayan na lang din yung gamitin natin. And then, ipod pa natin ng pa, ano, pa right. Ayan. Click natin tong quizzes and then make this a quiz. Ayan. So, release grade immediately after each submission or later after manual review. So, mas maganda makita na nila kung ano agad yung grade nila. Diba? Respondent can see missed questions. Yes. Correct answers and point values. Then, let's click save. So, after nyan, yan quiz na siya. Diba? So, untitled form. So, ilagay natin is with 1.1. Ayan, form description. So, mamaya na natin siya lagyan ng form description. So, email address. Ayan. And, ayan, untitled question. Ilagay muna natin dito is full name. The student. Automatic magpabago siya yung short answer. Siyempre, required siya. And then, itong plus sign sa baba. Um, grid and section. Yung plus sign yung pipindutin po natin kung mag add pa tayo ng question. So, yan. Required pa din. So, after nito, pwede dun tayo sa second page. Mag-start ng quiz. Ayan, diba? So, let's click this one. 
etong nasa ilalim yung may triangle at ah, triangle rectangle rather ito nasa dulo ayan click natin siya for section 2 for page 2 so ayan untitled question pwede natin ilagay ganun pa din quiz 1.1 and description answer the following questions so ayan so mag add pa din tayo dito ayan question sa baba so ayan pwede inlagin natin is what type of flower commonly used in baking. Ayan yung, yung question. So, may pagpipilian po tayo dito. Ayan. Click lang natin itong yung drop down. Diba? So, ayan. Pwede short answer. Paragraph. Multiple choice. Check boxes. Drop down. File upload. And so on. So, ayan. So, multiple choice siya. So, ayan. Nag-automatic. Diba? Si Google suggested correct answer all purpose flyer. Alam mo ito. Ganyan. Diba? So, ayan. So, pindutin natin itong option 1. Nilagay natin is all purpose floor. And, pag mag a tayo ng question, click lang natin to add other. And then, let's click add option. And for option 2, let's say cake floor. And, add ulit tayo, add option. Cassava floor. Ayan. And then, record. So, paano, paano natin i-check kung alin yung correct answer? Click lang natin itong, itong para may checkbox sa left side. Ayan. So, ilang points? Isa lang siyang points. Ayan. And then, ito yung tamang sagot. And pwede tayo mag-answer it. Mag-add ng answer feedback. So, kapag incorrect answer, pwede natin itong ilagay. Oh, no. Better luck next time. Pag correct answer naman, pwede ang ilagay natin is, ayan. Pwede ilagay natin is, very cool. And then, let's click save. So, after nyan, and okay na siya, let's click done. And then, add ulit tayo ng question ito sa baba. And then, ang pwede natin next question naman is the low or the example of buko pie crust. So, pwede gawin natin is check boxes since uh, two or more yung pwede sagot. Ayan. Option 1, click lang natin ito. Pwede ang gawin natin is ang pagpipilian ay buko pie. Ay, mali pala. Double pie crust. Buko pie. Ayan. Then, add option. Lagay natin is egg pie next add option apple pie ayan and then required and then let's get this one ilan ba yung tamang sagot dalawa so ano yung tamang sagot buko pie and apple pie let's click done so, ayan required sya then next question naman itong add ulit and then, pwede pa natin tanong. Let's say, below naman are the example of single pie crust. Let's say, option, ano pa rin tayo? Check boxes. Option 1, egg pie. Add option, let's say yung tart, 
Diba? Kung familiar kayo yung maliliit. Na, let's uh, imagine yung egg pie, yung maliit na egg pie. Ganun. Tart. Example nga, yung mga langka. Diba? Ube tart. Ganun. And ano pa ba? Yeah. Panggulo, buko pie. So, record natin. Check ulit. Ilang points? Two. So, ang tamang sagot ay egg pie and tart. Then, done. And, let's click add ulit. Pwede natin next questions. Iba namang type ng um, item ng test. Pwede namang short answer. Let's say, based on your own understanding, what are the ways in making or what are the steps rather than yung what are the ways in making hmm book okay. short answer let's click natin kung ano yung possible answer let's um let's say it ay 3 points so add correct answer correct answer natin let's say ito the ways the steps in making buku pie are okay, nandun na yung tamang sagot then pwede rin tayo mag-add pa ng ibang answer yan pwede dito sa add the correct answer sa baba and pwede din tayong uh, mark all other answers incorrect pwede ganun kung wala sa nabanggit yung sagot nila and Add answer feedback. So, ako okay na ako dito. Say, I will click done. And, let's say okay na ako dito sa quiz na to. So, ano yung sunod kong gagawin? Diba? So, yan. Hindi ko, pa, hindi ko pala siya na-required. Kung ba't walang answers yan. So, since okay na ako dito. Ayan. So, yan. For your information nga pala, pwede kayong mag-add. Diba? Ng pictures or any link from YouTube or any link from Google. Ayan. Click nyo lang to or ito. Ayan. Pwede. So, since okay na ako dito, ang gagawin ko naman po is, I will click this one. Ito yung arrow papunta sa right, sa taas. Kanina ko siya pwedeng isend, let's say, sa student kung gusto kong mag- sa student ko. Ayan. Wari ako. Ito, student ko siya. And then, include form and email. Then, I will click send. So, kung gusto ko pa ng ibang ways, ito, send via itong katabi ng email. Ayan. Pwedeng via link. Diba? So, yan. Since haba ng link, pwede natin siya pa send Shorten URL. So, ayan. And itong URL na to, itong link na to, ang pwede nating isend sa ating student. Ayan, let's click copy. Ayan, pwede natin siyang isend gamit ang Google Classroom. Diba? So, ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo paano ko ba isend ito um, using Google Classroom. So, ito, click copy. And then, let's say, ipopost ko siya sa Google Classroom. So, ayan ang aking Google Classroom. Then, I will click this one, Baking 101. So, let's say, eto from uh, the stream ayan di ba click up please answer your quiz below so ayan then ikakopy ko or ipipaste ko rather yung link na ginawa natin kanina then eto click lang natin to para mag-upload siya so ayan Okay na siya. Ayan, naka-upload na siya. And after nun, balik tayo dun sa ginawa, ginagawa natin kanina. So, yan. So, let's say, okay na tayo dito. Pwede naman natin gawin is preview ano ba yung itsura niya. Diba? Kapag um, magtitake ng quiz na yung bata. So, ayan po yung itsura niya. Ayan, email address. So, mag-try tayo dito. Ayan. Natin yan, nag-automatic siya, diba? Shine na sa payment doon, sa grade and section. Let's say, 
grade 9 calcium. Yeah. So, let's click next. Ayan. What type of flour commonly used in baking? Let's click this one, all-purpose flour. Below are the example of double pie crust. It's buko pie, magmali tayo ng, ex ng isa egg pie. And then, below are the example of single pie crust, two points again, egg pie and tart. Based on your own understanding, what are the ways in making buko pie? Let's say, the, the steps in making buko pie are... So, kumare, okay na yung sagot ko. Then, let's click submit. So, ayan. Let's click. Ayan, the buyer response has been recorded. Let's click view score. Pwede mo makita yung previous responses mo, ha? Let's click view score. So, ayan na. Out of 8, the ba? I got 6. So, ayan. At least, ano, naging transparent tayo sa student. Kasi nakita niya din agad kung ano yung score niya. ba? So, click ulit natin yung back. Makikita natin dito may nag-response na. So, ayan. ba? So, ayan, nag-response na. Ako yun, yung nagsagot kanina. ba? Responses. So, ayan. Palagay average, 6 over 8, median. Ayan, range, 6 to 6. Frequently missed questions. Alin ba yung maling sagot? Email. And so on. And ito sa question, ano yung tanong sa 1, 2, 3, 4. Ayan. Sa individual na sagot ng, ng students, makikita natin dito. And kung gusto natin makita siya sa so spreadsheets, ba? Para automatic nandun na agad. So, let's click this one, spreadsheet. Itong green icon. Katabi ng one response. So, ayan. Create a new spreadsheet. Let's, pwede natin siyang Baguhin yung title, diba? Ayan. Let's click create. Ayan, select an account. So, ayan, diba? Nakita natin dito yung response. Nung bata, ayan. Time stop, stamp, email address, score, 6 over 8, full name, grade and section. And makikita natin yung sagot niya. Nung bata. And, ayun lamang. So, that's all. Hoping po na may natutunan po kayo ngayon sa ating video tutorial. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates. See you on my next video. God bless!